In this next InfraWorks video, we're actually going to switch away from InfraWorks here and move into a program called Twin Motion. Now, Twin Motion is a video game creation app where you can design video games. We're going to put our subdivision here into a video game and we can walk around it. We can animate some trees. We can play with a whole host of different options. This will not be a detailed walkthrough or tutorial on Twin Motion. However, it functions fairly similar to the way InfraWorks works. You can cl click a tree and put things in and, and different kinds of items and just play around to your heart's content, really. So the first thing we need to do is we have to take our InfraWorks model, and I'm going to look at it top-down view because I don't want to export this, the rest of the surface. I don't need all these additional little bits and pieces. But I want to click on the wrench and screwdriver, and I want to export a 3D model. Now I'm going to define interactively with a polygon. So I want to draw, I want to draw around my model of what I want exported, and it's not going to export anything outside of this model. So I'm just going to select that, I'm going to hit enter. My coordinate system, again, when you're exporting it, the coordinate system doesn't really matter because twin motion, I'll just put it in at kind of zero, zero and way up in the sky. I want a single file and I can specify where I want to save it or I could split it into multiple files. However, no, I just want one FBX file and I want to call it subdivision.fbx. It's exporting all the features that will change if we switch to multiple files, but the single file. I want to export my materials and textures, and I want to definitely merge objects with the same texture. So it's going to create a ground surface. All the ground is the same texture. It's going to create a ground surface. It's going to create that, that geometry that if we're walking around in a video game, we can't walk into a wall. We can't walk through a wall, for example. So once that's set up, I'm going to hit export. And this might take 30 seconds, it might take five minutes, it might take an hour, depending on the size of your model. So once this is done exporting, I will be back. All right, that was just a couple minutes for me to export that file. And it's created just an FBX file on my, my D drive with a position file. Now, I'm gonna close InfraWorks, we no longer need it open. And we're going to go into Twin Motion. However, you need to use the Epic Games Launcher. So you have to go to this website, unrealengine.com slash en-us slash Twin Motion. It might switch the language to your country. And we, you need a special launcher. You can't just download the, the Epic Games Launcher. You need the Epic Games Launcher with the Unreal Engine aspect built into it. So we can click Get Started Now. There is a free trial. So you can get the free trial and, and play around with it. I'm not going to go through all that, but when we get into the Epic Games Launcher then, we have Twin Motion in the top right. Now I can install 2020.2, but I have the 2019 Epic version or 2020.1, and I'm going to select the 2020.1. I'm just going to hit Launch, which is going to launch Twin Motion for me. Now this is going to take a second to start up, and it's opening on my other screen right now. And here we are. So it, it gives us to welcome to Twin Motion. It tells us how we can move around. The commands are slightly different than InfraWorks, so that's a little bit, take a little bit to get used to. Uh, we can show the startup window on startup. However, I don't want to see that. And I'm going to close this. Now we're left with just a, a blank scene here. Nothing's in our drawing. I'm using the right mouse button to kind of look around the middle mouse button to go up and down and the left mouse button doesn't select, it selects stuff. So Twin Motion wants us to click here to import file. So I'm gonna click import. I'm gonna hit open. I'm going to browse to my D drive. I'm gonna select my Twin uh, InfraWorks models. Sorry, not InfraWorks models, InfraWorks export where I saved it. And I'm gonna select my subdivision. I'll hit open. I'm gonna look at my options to make sure everything is there I want. Yeah, I don't want to change any of that. Oop. And I want to go to landscape, look at my options, and all that's fine with me. So I'm going to hit OK. And Twin Motion is going to read the data in. And again, this might involve a little bit of waiting. 
up pops the material conflict. Do I want to use the scene material, use imported material, or keep both? I'm going to select keep both. That way it's, it's available in the file here. And then I'll hit OK again. And Twin Motion is going to process my data. Once it's done processing the data, we can look around and try and find our project. Although I don't see anything down along the ground, I do see this triangular shadow. So I'm going to look up and around. And depending on where the sun is, we'll create a shadow. So this is right above me. Now holding the W key and scrolling the mouse, we can see how fast we're moving here. It's going to take quite a while to get to our actual subdivision. So if we click the little eyeball, and we have the speed of a car. We do move a little bit faster. And unfortunately, this is the only way I know of getting up to our subdivision is holding W. Oh, you can hold shift to go faster. So W shift and scroll your middle mouse wheel up. Once you're up, however, you don't, I've never seen it where you have to look down or uh, scroll up from down below again. So we have imported our subdivision into twin motion here. So I'm using the right mouse button again to pan around, the left mouse button to look really fast, and then W, A, S, and D. And if you hold shift, you do go a little bit faster. Now that's to get your model into twin motion. I'll show you how to add a few trees, a couple little objects here, change some textures, and take a look at it that way. So we can add different paths. We can add character paths, we can add vehicle paths. So I can animate some vehicles if I want to. I can have vehicles driving down the road. So if I have a vehicle driving from, oh, paths, we'll go back to vehicle path and draw vehicle path. So remember to click that little ink pen and we can have it go along. And if we hit enter, or escape maybe, then it puts the vehicle path in. And then it asks us how many lanes. The lane count one or two. Oh, it takes a little second to render all the vehicles in. And it is lagging for me a little bit, there we go. So when you first put a path in, it does tend to lag a little bit because it's spawning in, uh, I think, quite a few vehicles there. So I can select my vehicle path. I can go three lanes, and it puts three lanes of traffic in there. We'll go back down to one lane. Two lanes, you can go on or off. Lane offset, the density of the vehicle, so we can have more vehicles. Or we can have less vehicles. We can change the speed. I don't think you can get any faster than 150 kilometers an hour and we can reverse it if we want so they'll drive the opposite direction. So we can add vehicle paths and character paths. We can paint in some vegetation. So if I click just a birch tree, I can pl uh, click once to uh, place it in. You can select something, control C, control V. We can just copy it. Control C, control V. And for some reason, it doesn't want to work right now. Copy, okay, no. Regardless, we can change the age of the tree. We can make it bigger and smaller. Growth on or off. Season, we can show it in winter. We can show it in automatic, so it'll go along with uh, Twin Motion. We can plant grass in an area. However, we have to drag the model down here and then paint it in with a diameter. So as we can see, we've added a bit of grass to this. And again, this is just a quick little tutorial. This is not anything crazy. I've erased it, we can draw it in. And you can specify the how much of it you want, how little of it you want. We can load up our urban location, so it will pick data based on our location. It will display sun 
the sun and any nighttime, any weather. There's a weather option so I can make it rainy. I can change the season to winter. I could put, oh, it has auto save too. I can change the growth of the trees. So it's all the twin motion trees. As we see, none of the InfraWorks trees have, have adjusted to that. And they don't adjust any of the settings either. So I tend to come into twin motion and delete all my InfraWorks trees and just put the twin motion ones in. If we go back to the content, sorry, the vegetation paint, we click the little up arrow. We have options for grasses, rocks, miscellaneous, trees, landscapes. We can go up again. We can have characters, we can put in vehicles, user library, your own stuff. So if I go under materials, I want water. I can apply water to my pond there and make it look a little bit more realistic until you can look through it with the pool water. So like InfraWorks, that's mainly a drag and drop. The same works with your materials. So if I wanted my road to be bronze, I could paste the bronze on my road. There should be a section for man-made materials as well. There's marble and granite. They might be under uh, materials, concrete, sorry. So we have concrete for our sidewalks and there should be asphalt underground man-made for your roads. So a lot of things you can just drag and drop the textures and InfraWorks exports all these as separate textures. So if I paste grass here, I would have to paste grass here as well because the road is technically a secondary. All these are separate from what we exported in InfraWorks, even though they're the same texture. It, the export did combine them together. So again, just take a look around. Um, Twin Motion is fairly easy to use. You can create a video game of it. Uh, there are some tutorials online for that. So create a video game. You can export it even to a VR scenario. Now that was just a quick uh, quick tutorial going from InfoWorks into Twin Motion.